So one video probably isn't enough for you guys and you want to see more so right away I've, I've just after completing that horrible mission um, here we are in the WZ-131 uh, the horrible mission I was talking about was the TD-15 where you had to do 6k damage and uh, the the Yak Panda E100 just kept on trolling me by not penning shit even at the arse but now that's done that's the only pretty much thing I gotta do is heavy tank 15 and uh, pretty much uh, the last few light tank missions now because the new patch is so nice it's given us the ability to to be able to play uh, let's say play this thing without being in actually a platoon and now this dynamic dynamic platoon feature which you can just invite other light tanks to be part of your platoon so it counts towards your platoon damage which is absolutely amazing feature I have to say well done to Wargaming for implementing this but again this could have been done like ages ago but they took their time but anyway I'm not going to complain too much about that and since now it seems like the light tank missions are made pretty much a lot less painful because you no longer need your platoon mate and you know you, you gotta find the right platoon mate who has similar tanks to you who also wants to do similar missions it's a bit of an ask and when your all your friends are not online you know or some of them might be online but they don't want to play light tanks is is annoying so i think this this in 9.8 is just epic uh, the way you can simply just to complete the mission on your own pretty much and we're losing 3-0 um, what a brilliant start right spotted shit tons of tanks I gotta give credits to this T-71 driver he was an absolute lad he, he helped me so much I have to say uh, without him uh, he could have been a dick and just sat next to the bush with me which happened in another game where uh, this guy was trying to Tr knew, he knew that I was trying to do this mission because I said in chat so he, he basically drove next to me or just in front of me then he started firing so the shots you know they, they see him on the um, on the map and shoots in my direction and hits me because he's behind me you know dicks like that just do it on purpose but that T71 was a was a nice guy he let me take this spot um, I was raging like come on this mission I gotta do it and please I've stuck on this finally on the good map and one of the main reasons why I haven't been able to do my light tank missions is that I don't get Prohorovka if I get Prohorovka even half of the time it's so much easier and you know this this shit trend in matchmaking is like you just tend to have some sh the same map over and over and over again like just non-stop relentless the same shitty map and now somehow today uh, this this trend turned into a Prohorovka and I'm thinking I'm getting Prohorovka and fiery salient uh, way more than the other maps which is helping me of course for the light tank but doesn't help by the fact that my team doesn't do shit and I gotta load go now because I wanna win this and the one thing I gotta mention about the WZ is it can be so good when you need it to be you can just simply outpace the enemy like it's like if you play football you pretty much know like why is Messi a good player he can he can control the tempo he can he, he changes speed changes pace which means other defenders can't chase him but again most of you probably from America or somewhere that doesn't really play football but it's like your change of tempo is quite important and just check out the sniping round here I, I, I do like this juicy round here just right into him that was class I, I gotta say that that was that was just simply a brilliant shot uh, half half luck half skill uh, this 85 mil yeah it's just absolutely dream gun to have on your light tank and I just don't get why some people well I don't get why this tank isn't as popular as it should be because it's just so OP in my opinion uh, especially if you have gold rounds at your expense this is just just, just absolutely OP. It, it, look at the reload speed and aim time. I remember that all I got is camo net and binos 
and no vertical stab, no aiming, increasing gadgets or no reload increasing gadgets and yet I am able to fire out this 2k DPM I believe uh, gun with relative ease and if I need I can pen them with gold this is just absolutely dream it's like my ultimate pimp or rather my ultimate savior tank it saved me from the missions I absolutely can do the mission just by playing this night tank only uh, my RU doesn't really help me that much to be honest I, I feel like the RU 251 um, it was a good tank but it doesn't quite do the missions like the WZ would I feel like R the RU I have a more of an attack attack you know active player in the RU whereas the WZ I got more of a passive scouting uh, role because I got it with camel net and binos which means that ultimately I'm, a, I'm more of a scout than anything else but as you can see when this game turned into a power of shit I was able to instantly control the pace again by utilizing my epic DPM my epic penetration with the heat round and of course the use of terrain the use of camo net and the binos just managed to get me always a step ahead of the game it was just it is just simply fabulous to have a light tank like this as you can see the the arm on the WZ is is alright for a light tank certainly better than the T71 so I don't know what people are complaining at least about the WZ-131 I feel like it's just five times better than the 132 the 132 I think is a piece of shit um, compared to other tanks like the RU especially when I got I used the 100 mil to grind on the on that WZ-132 which was disgusting I gotta say 85 mil just goes all the way because it's so much more accurate the heat round just is just better than the APCR round on the 100 mil and the DPM is what makes this thing so incredible when you need it to work when you need it to outplay the opponents and as you saw there like I can just simply spot them then I don't get spotted and then my shots just land true on the target uh, well this time it does land true but at an awkward angle which means it bounce but second heat round right through the mantle and there goes the game winner uh, I feel like I didn't really need to spam the gold but again penning the IS-6 on the front with this 85 mil is impossible with the AP round so hopefully you understand why I use gold round again don't need gold when you're circling tanks but you know the gold round comes in ha handy when you got t the sloped armor tanks and all of them uh, if you hit them at the right angle with the heat round it will go through uh, which I think just doesn't happen with the 100 mil and 100 mil doesn't make it into a light tank anymore so I don't know there's just so many so many replays on my website on my channel that shows you the WZ-131 um, I think it's the best tier 7 light tank by far for your for mission in terms of missions because Walker Bulldog has got just I think slightly bad uh, a bad gun for you well it's the gun is good but it's too good that you you literally want to go close range and just dish out the damage instead of spotting which kinda you, you know just just takes your mind off doing the missions whereas the WZ will actually be quite rewarding for missions the ones including assistance damage and all of them I think the WZ will give you the best mindset that wouldn't lure you into engaged uh, opponents and this tank certainly is is my best light tank to do any of the light tank missions pretty much all my well in fact all my light tank 15 missions are done in this tank and uh, pretty much uh, all spotting damage uh, missions were done in this tank it's just absolutely insane tank I love it two bits and uh, hopefully you have learned that this tank is OP as hell you should respect it in the battlefield and uh, tell me what you think about this tank and we shall see you next time